Hi, I'm Louise Fletcher and before I get to this week's video, I am teaching a free workshop starting the 1st of September. You can come along and join us. The link is in the description below or you can just go to my website at Louise Fletcher Art and look at the For Artists tab and there you can sign up. Click the link, join us and let's crack on with the video. Okay, I wanna share with you this week a technique that I've discovered, something I think is really cool. You can see that that effect on my paper then. I'm gonna show you how I get it. This is a soft willow charcoal. I'm wetting it just on a scrap piece of paper and then pressing it down onto the paper. And you can see that it creates these amazing kind of tidal effects. And when this is dried, though it's it doesn't need fixing like charcoal does the water has fixed it and i just think what a cool backdrop for so many things that we do what a nice first layer to so many things i can see so many uses for this i then thought i'll try a darker softer charcoal so this is a derwent xl which is a large thick charcoal and i tried that over the top now I really like that. So you can see you can build this up and you can build it up in really subtle degrees. I mean, I've just gone really from light to dark, but you could do it much more subtly than that. I then used up the spare charcoal onto this page here. I don't like wasting things, so I'm, I'm gonna use up whatever there is. And so then I thought, what about a lighter? So this is still charcoal. This is a Derwent XL. It comes in, in a box with several different tints. This is like a yellow ochre color. So I thought, what would it be like to use that on here? That was a little bit less successful. It didn't print quite as strongly, but that was good because it gave me an idea of something else to try. I thought, okay, if that isn't strong enough, I tried it another time and you'll see as I apply it again, what happens. But I thought if this isn't getting me the effect that I want, what else could I try that would get me a stronger effect? And so this is where doing things that don't work is still so important in making our art because it tells us what to try next. So I decided what's bright and very strong is a soft pastel. This is a unison soft pastel. So this should have a, a better effect than that tinted charcoal did. So I just applied it again in any kind of scribble, no rhyme or reason, and then wet it. I'm sure if I thought about the way I'm applying the drawing and then the way I'm wetting it, I could do all sorts. This is very early stage with this for me. Um, but now if I push that down, you see, you will see in a second. And I tried different ways of pushing it down, tapping, pushing, rubbing. And you can see how strongly that has um, created that effect compared to the charcoal. That is just stunning. And can you imagine using this, say, in a sky on a landscape painting? I can imagine with very pale colours doing this as the background to a portrait or part of the background on a still life. I can certainly imagine using this in abstract landscapes, which is where it probably come in for me. So I'm, I decided if it's best to go light to dark, let me start with a light blue pastel and then come in with that darker blue. Um, this is all part of the learning just to see how it works. I know it's not going to work the other way, but this might look really good. And so now we've got this really nice two-tone effect and it would be easy to kind of build up gently with lots of different shades instead of I've just done two, light and dark, but you could do this with all sorts of different colors. So what I decide to show you next is if I wanted to use this in the work I'm currently making. I'm currently working on studies and in sketchbooks, I'm not making finished pieces. I'm really working with a lot of abstract drawing, which I've become very interested in. How I do this is to sometimes close my eyes, sometimes hold my pencils or materials in a strange way, sometimes use the wrong hand to try and take away control. Here's where I made my mistake though. I, I added some dark ch smudgy charcoal before I added the soft pastel effect I want to get. And so I'd already learned that dark to light won't work. I need to go light to dark. And then I 
completely messed up and went the other way. But that is what happens. I won't make that mistake next time. So I chose a soft peachy pink and put lots of water on it. And I'm, a, I'm wondering if each pastel will act differently. So that dark blue one was fabulous. But this one, and then I decided to tear it into little pieces so I didn't get a great big blob. But this one doesn't get anywhere near the strength of effect that the dark blue did because it's so much lighter. And also, as I say, because I had put that black on, which was a mistake, I could have put white paint over there, waited for it to dry, and then added this. But it's all just a study, so it doesn't matter. I decided to draw in with some of that paint to get the effect I want. And here's what I wanted to say about this. This effect that I've discovered, it will... It will always just be a tiny piece of my paintings. It will never be that that is what a painting is, just that effect. So it will be a little bit on one layer or a bit in the background or something that pops up from time to time in a piece. It won't be always there. <clears throat> but I do like the effects that I'm getting. And so I do want to bring it into this work that I'm currently doing. What I thought here is I just want more drawing. This is now I'm turning this into the kind of piece I'm currently making. It is rooted in landscape, but it's not only about landscape. I then thought I want more of that effect. It's It's got a little bit lost with everything else. So I used charcoal again and wet the charcoal and then pressed in some of that in this lighter part of the painting, just so I could get a very subtle touch of that effect and that wasn't enough for me so I added some more really wet it yeah lovely I really like just the subtlety of that I don't want to go mad and I roll it off just to dry it so that nothing smudges and gets ruined I then added some white pastel just as finishing touches to this but I was pretty much happy with where it was. It's only a sketchbook study. It's only for experimentation and it's looking good. And here is how the finished piece looks. And you can see some of those effects of where the pastel and charcoal have been pushed onto the paper. I think I'd like to try this again next time with a lot less dark placed on until later so I can get the full effects of the pastel. But I love the energy and feeling of this piece. And I think that subtle new effect has really added to that and this is why I work this way with constant experimentation because you can learn so much that you won't learn if you set out with intention. If you'd like to find out how to discover your own way of working check out my free find your style guide helping you to find your own voice with your work and your own process for working. You can find that in the description on YouTube. If you're watching on Facebook, you can find it as the first comment. And if you're watching on Instagram, you can find it via the link in my bio. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>